welcome back to the channel. Now that we got those troublesome, uh, apparently live behind a shooting range. Now that we got those pesky torque bits out of the way, let's disconnect the battery so the airbag doesn't surprise us and knock us out in the car. Let me see, is it still works? There we go. That's the side we're out of you. Ground's not. Grab a socket set and get that off. Hit them. Back in the car. All right, let's straighten the wheel out first. All right. Let's pull this forward. One clip. And airbag free. It's a 14. See, is it still going? Yep. Let's grab the impact. And it's free. Just want to push on this and slide this back to get it off of there. Bend this guy out of place. Undo the clip. That's just the cruise control, which I had already undone. And I think we can knock the steering wheel off. Along with the hub, it gives you the instructions to cancel out the SRS warning light as well as the resistors to do that, an extension for the horn. And this one, I am not entirely sure what it goes to. Let me see. I'm sure it says, I'm sitting here looking at, looking at this like I can read Japanese, but the pictures are self-explanatory enough. I'm sure I can figure this out. Figured it out. We leave all this intact. Connect the resistor like so. Make sure that's in all the way. It's in all the way. All right, tuck this up out of the way. Horn goes through there. That goes over there. Also can go in there out of the way. And make sure we line the hub up. And there we have it. Let's put the 14 back. All right, I'll check that with a torque wrench. Let's grab that and be right back. Well, we should have put the top down so I could swing the torque wrench in here, but let's see. Oh, I don't really have 
the torque value on here. It's only supposed to be 29 foot-pounds. I'm sure I'm well over that now. Almost looks as if I have to cut a ring off of this so it's not pushing against the plastic. Does it come forward some? Alright, we'll see once we get the wheel on. So let's grab the wheel. I've had this wheel for a little while now. It was uh Christmas gift from my girlfriend, and I absolutely love it. Been dying to put it on. It's already, what, February? It's a little unheard of for me to sit on something that long and not install it, but I also kind of wanted to frame it, so it took me a little bit of back and forth to just, you know what, let's do it. So I bought the hub last week before we left, and it was here when we got back. Okay, let's home button, on button, bolts. Alright, let's see. Spoon Allen key now. Get to keep that, add that to my collection. All right. Gives us both hex heads and countersunk Allen bolts. So let's put this on. like I might have to undo the hub and center it again but we'll see I might have turned the wheel a little bit with the impact gun passes just to make sure everything is tight don't want your steering wheel falling off all right seems good now we got power to it got no SRS light which I'm happy about let's see let's test the horn 
No horn. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I really like the look of the wheel. Looks really good in here since we have the spoon knob, spoon mirrors, spoon phone case, and a bunch of other spoon bits. So we'll poke around, play with the horn for a little bit, see if we can figure that out. I'm just a huge dummy. Big dummy. All right, so I'll cut this. We can trim this back a little bit that way so this closes up this doesn't make that noise because then i'm gonna want to throw away the whole car and uh we'll do that and get back once everything's all set all right so just as suspected trim one ring off of the back of the little hub spacer here and nothing now it's perfect and all we have left to do now is put the horn button in and let's do that now. And success. It works. And as you can hear, horn works. I'm happy, I love it. That makes what? We have the spoon thermostat, thermal switch, the radiator hoses oil cap, the reservoir socks, mirrors, rear view mirrors, shift knob, steering wheel, steering wheel's nine, with a bunch of other spoon pieces on the way and one sitting on the shelf. This is gonna be a pretty much spoon themed build. We're gonna try to track down the pieces for the spoon body kit, the S-Tie kit we're gonna fully convert it into a spoon car except with a different different tweak on the on the motor there but we'll get into that later so thanks for watching and coming back to the channel again don't forget to like subscribe comment share and we'll catch you next time